Hello everyone, I'm Cindy Drozda. Welcome to my woodworking shop. Today I would like to talk about wood turning gouges. I'm going to describe the gouges that I use and I'm going to show you my method of sharpening them, which I call platform sharpening because I use the grinder platform to set the angle. For the All of my gouges, we're starting here with the spindle roughing gouge, have a cutting edge bevel of 40 degrees. That means if I take my protractor and put one leg in the bottom of the flute and the other up against the bevel, I'll get a 40 degree angle. The spindle roughing gouge has that same 40 degree bevel angle all the way around the edge and it's ground straight across. There's no sweep to this grind. My bowl gouge is what's referred to as a 40-40 grind. That means it has that same 40 degree cutting edge bevel angle and you can see that in addition to that cutting edge bevel I have removed the heel material just freehand narrowing the cutting bevel right at the cutting edge down to about a sixteenth of an inch. The other 40 in the 40-40 grind is a measurement of the sweep angle and that is if I was to put one leg of the protractor along the wing and the other along the um, parallel to the shaft of the tool, I would also get a 40 degree angle. My spindle gouge, which I call a finial gouge, is um, a deep flute Thompson spindle gouge and it has a 40 degree cutting edge bevel angle as well with the heel removed in the same way as the bowl gouge leaving a sixteenth or less right at the cutting edge. The sweep angle is 15 to 20 degrees allowing me to get the tip into tighter places. I also use the swept back wings like skew chisels for planing cuts. The shape of the tip is a 1 16th inch radius allowing it to make coves like an eighth inch spindle gouge while still having the strength of a 3 8 so let's go over to the grinder and I'll show you how I keep a razor sharp edge on these gouges. I also like to hone the inside of the flutes of my gouges, believing that the sharpest edge is the intersection of two smooth planes. I'll put a little drop of lapping fluid in there and I'm using this round, it's called a pen file, it's just a round diamond file holding it firmly in the flute and rolling the tool as I move the hone in the flute to get the entire flute smooth. For the bowl gouge I'll use the pen file to do the tip, a little drop of lapping fluid in there for lubrication. I'll move the file back and forth inside the flute while I rotate the tool to get the whole tip done. Now I can do the whole gouge, the wing as well, with the pen file running it up the wing and this is also how I would do a parabolic flute gouge. This V-bowl gouge with its flat wings is easier done with a 600 grit diamond card. What I'll do is I'll hold the card against the flat wing and hone it. I'll do the other side. I'll do the spindle roughing gouge also with the pen file. I'll drop a lapping fluid in there. I'm holding the file against the flute surface and rolling the tool so that I get the full edge honed right out at the tip mainly. 
I do think that honing the gouge flutes makes a difference in how sharp they get and how cleanly they cut. I'm using an 8 inch grinder with 8 inch by 1.5 inch wide wheels. This is a 400 grit wheel. I have a Stuart Batty adjustable platform to set my angle for the gouges. I'm going to use the Raptor setup gauge to get my platform set to a 40 degree angle. The flat of the gauge goes against the platform and the nose touches the wheel and I have my angle. I'm going to start with the spindle roughing gouge. This gouge is ground straight across and it has a 40 degree bevel angle on the entire edge. To get that, what I'll do is hold it firmly on the platform with my thumb, contact the wheel and just roll the tool to grind my 40 degree angle on the entire edge. For the bowl gouge, which has 40 degrees of sweep, I've drawn some sweep gauge lines on my platform. I'll sharpen my bowl gouge by aligning the tool visually parallel to the sweep line and then contacting the straight wing to the wheel. I have the tool rolled over just enough to where the inside flat surface of that flute at the wing is parallel to the platform. Then I will drop the handle and roll the tool open to do the radius at the tip. Same thing on the other side. Align with the sweep line. Contact the wing to the wheel rolled so that the inside flat surface of the wing is parallel to the platform and roll open, swing down to blend with the tip. What I'm looking for is straight wings and I don't want a concave or a convex on the wing. And I'd like to see the tip be a nice smooth radius. Now I'd like to reduce the width of the cutting bevel, mainly at the tip, to a sixteenth of an inch or less, and I'll do that freehand on the wheel. Looking for a one sixteenth inch wide cutting bevel, and there's no precision to this at all. I might want to just knock a little more of that sharp heel off freehand again. And that's my bowl gouge done. For the spindle gouge, I've got some lines drawn on the platform for the sweep angle here too. And I'm going to put the tool on the platform aligned with the sweep angle. The amount that I roll the tool is just enough to have the flute facing up. Contact the wheel at the extreme wing angle and in a continuous motion roll the flute open and swing the handle to center and a little bit past to blend the wing with the tip. Align with the sweep line, roll so that the flute's still facing up, and swing the handle to center, blend the tip as I roll the flute open. I'm going to align the tool parallel to the sweep line contact the wing and I have the tool rolled only so much as to still have the flute facing up. Roll the flute open, drop the handle and blend into that tip. On the other side now, line up with the sweep gauge line contact the wheel at the extreme wing position the flute is rolled, 
just so that it's still facing up toward the ceiling. Roll the flute open, swing the handle to center, and blend with the tip. Now I would like to reduce the cutting bevel. And I'm going to do that freehand. What I'm doing is I'm watching the side so that I can see I'm also going to smooth that heel grind just freehand on the wheel. And I'll take a look at the edge now. I want to see straight lines on the wings, not concave or convex. I want a smooth radius at the tip and another straight line on the wing. The cutting edge bevel, mainly at the tip, is a sixteenth of an inch or less wide. The one thing that I need to watch out for most with platform grinding is that I keep the tool firmly on the platform. If I let either end come up off the platform, I'm going to get a different angle than I intended on my cutting edge. I like to hook my finger just around the corner of the platform so that I can use my thumb to put pressure down on the tool. I also prefer to take my tools out of their handles for sharpening whenever possible. Another thing to be aware of when platform grinding, especially the finial gouge, is how much I roll the tool over when starting in the extreme wing position. I need to see the flute of the gouge facing up toward the ceiling to get the 40 degree angle on the wing that I want. If I roll it too much and the flute is facing toward the grinding wheel, then the angle on the wing will be more obtuse than 40 degrees and the wing won't cut very well. So you notice that I have my platform cut out. The SB Tools platforms come with a cut out. The uh, Reed Gray Robo Hippie Rest, Robo Rest, also comes with a cut out. And if you have a Wolverine platform that's not cut out, an easy way to do it is to make an overlay that's cut out around the wheel and double stick tape it to the platform so that you don't have to cut your steel platform. Of course, cutting the steel platforms is um, also very nice. And that's what I have done to all of my Wolverine platforms. And that's how I use a platform to sharpen my gouges. With a little practice, it becomes a lot easier, and I find it to be a more consistent and reliable method to get the grinds that I like. I hope you'll take a few minutes to check out my website, cindydrosda.com, and if you have any questions about wood turning, send me an email, cindy at cindydrosda.com. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.